The Samsung Galaxy S7 may still be many months away, but even with the Galaxy Note 5 occupying the spotlight, there's a few things we already know about the upcoming device. The Galaxy S7 release date is pretty much locked down and it's sure to cost just as much as its astronomically priced predecessor, the Galaxy S6. Samsung Galaxy S7 release date. We've got this one nailed down pretty well. The Galaxy S6 launched at MWC 2015, and the Galaxy S5 launched at MWC 2014, so the Galaxy S7 release date will undoubtedly coincide with MWC 2016, that's February 22nd to 25th. 2016. Market availability will likely be around 5 or so weeks after the launch. That would put it on shelves in the last few days of March, or the first few days of April. Samsung Galaxy S7 Price The Galaxy S7 price will be pretty high, if the Galaxy S6 is anything to go by. We're not sure if these 4K display rumors are going to pan out to be true, but if they do you can expect another price increase. If we don't get a 4K screen, it might not be much more expensive than the Galaxy S6, but if the base model internal storage increases from 32 GB to 64 GB, we might have a starting price of 650 to 700 US dollars, or higher, if 4K makes it in. Samsung Galaxy S7 Specs We'd heard rumors suggesting that the Snapdragon 820 was being tested in the Galaxy S7 previously, but we now seem to have proof. A Qualcomm official has reportedly confirmed that another version of the Snapdragon 820 has been shipped to Samsung for testing in the Galaxy S7, the Snapdragon 820 V3.X. The Snapdragon 820 is capable of clock speeds as high as 3 GHz, so it must be a very enticing option for Samsung's next flagship. Of course, the 820 will also be produced on the 14nm process, the same process responsible for the Exynos 7420, so the performance gap between the 7420 and 810 has closed. Still, the fact that Qualcomm is apparently sending another new version of the Snapdragon 820 to Samsung could indicate there are some problems with the first chip sent for testing. So don't get your hopes up for a Snapdragon 820 in the Galaxy S7. After all, Samsung must save a lot of money by using its own chips instead of Qualcomm's. It's way too early to draw many other conclusions about the Galaxy S7 specs, but we already have our suspicions. Other claims have centered on Samsung placing large orders for curved screens in Taiwan. The Galaxy Note 5 didn't come with a UHD display as had been rumored, but we might still get one on the Galaxy S7. Of course, it will arrive running the finalized version of Android M.